examination of varicose veins varicose vein is an elongated dilated and tortuous vein in the subcutaneous layer on inspection we will first inspect the vein and then the ankle and the foot on inspection of the vein in standing position first note the site and extent of the varicosity and whether it conforms to the anatomical path of the long or short saphenous veins long saphenous varicosities run from the front of the medial malleolus upwards along the anterior medial aspect of the leg knee and the thigh to end at the saphenous opening just below the inguinal ligament the short saphenous varicosities run over the posterior aspect of the calf to converge and end at the center of the popliteal fossa some varicosities may not conform to these anatomical pathways and are termed as stray varicosities so inspect the long saphenous system the short saphenous system and their relation to the present varicosity for this you must examine the leg from all the sides front and back Now inspect the length of the varicose vein for a blow out or a localized bulge in the vein indicating incompetent perforator This is a blow out in the leg In this patient two blow outs are seen in the thigh When a blow out is seen mark it with a skin pencil Next inspect the saphenous opening below the inguinal ligament for a saphena varix Saphena varix is a blow out over the saphena femoral junction and it indicates saphena femoral wall incompetence If a saphena varix is seen ask the patient to cuff and look for a visible cuff impulse Now look for dilated veins over the lower abdomen above the inguinal ligament converging onto the saphenous opening These are the superficial circumflex iliac superficial inferior epigastric and superficial external pudendal veins which enter the long saphenous vein just before it joins the femoral vein now raise the leg to 60 degrees and check whether the varicosity collapses or not an uncomplicated varicose vein will always collapse on raising the leg but if it is secondary to pelvic vein thrombosis or arteriovenous fistula in the leg then it will not collapse when the leg is raised holding the leg elevated to 30 degrees or more <coughs> ask the patient to cuff and look for a cuff impulse at the saphenous <coughs> opening if a saphena varix is present it will be seen to bulge <coughs> out and a retrograde venous pressure wave 